In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to unlock and defeat the Super Bowl Straddle Away. Straddle Away? <laughs> the Straddle Wave is in Final Fantasy X HD Remastered. This is the Area Conquest Super Boss in the Monster Arena. And we're going to show you guys right now. family this is your boy bridges welcome to another final fantasy 10 video right now we're going to be unlocking and defeating the strata waivers in this game if you're brand new to the channel make sure you subscribe to the channel if you like to see content like this here on the channel like and comment and let me know in the comment section below what is your favorite moment and why if this is your favorite final fantasy game and tell me your overall experience if you have done monster arena before just let me know your boy let your boy know everything you want to know or you need to know or your experience in this game so the strata waivers is a very super boss in the monster arena area conquest difficulty easily to unlock and he's easily to defeat so i'm going to take you guys through this entire guide to show you everything you need to know about the strata waivers the first thing you want to do is go to Bisay island and you want to get your capture weapon and all you want to do is capture enemies that's the main reason on how to unlock all the super bosses in the monster arena is capturing enemies that's the main thing you're going to be doing when it comes to unlocking super bosses here in the monster arena but in order to unlock the strata waivers all you need to do is go to the Bisay island and capture all the things there you just need to capture them one time guess how many guess how many enemies are in the save there are only three. Three different type of fiends in Bisay Island. All you need to do is capture them one time, head all the way back to talk to the merchant in Monster Arena. He's gonna create you a brand new fiend that you can fight for free. That fiend is gonna be the Strata Wavis. All right, but here are the three fiends in Bisay. Now, as you can see, I captured them 10 times because in order to unlock additional super bosses later on down the road, it is recommended actually it is you need to capture 10 of them of each 10 each all right so you need to capture them in time but just to clarify in order to unlock strata waivers there's only one you need to capture each of the fiends head back to the calm lands talk to the guy he's going to create the strata waivers for you all right so that is how you unlock the strato avis in the area conquest difficulty in monster arena all right now before we head on to this fight i'm going to show you guys the party members i'm going to be using in this fight as well as their armor and their weapon and i'm going to show you my stats before we hop on so this is riku orin i mean orin <laughs> waka and titus now riku is going to be my support character she has her triple ap overdrive the ap and triple overdrive this is a weapon that you want to use when you're grinding ap all right but if you have your celestial weapon, please do that and use that. I'm just using this weapon for this particular fight, just for the sake of the video. For your armor, you wanna have, the most important thing you want on there is dark proof, because the Strata Wave is, uh, will use his charging ability and he will cast blindness on your whole party. And if you don't have dark proof on you, you're gonna be blind and Strata Wavis has a high evasion when you first fight him. And it's gonna be very hard to already hit him. And if you're blind, it's a done deal. So please make sure you have dark proof on your armor at all times, on all your current, on all your party members. Now, you can put other stuff on there like auto protection, auto haste, auto potion, whatever you see fit that fits your play style. But just make sure for this particular fight, have dark proof. Okay. Now Waka, he's gonna be my tank of the fight because he has very high defense. And for the first time when you do fight the Strata Wavers, it is recommended that you do have a tank because the Strata Wavers will eventually hit one of you. And he does a lot of damage when you first unlock. So this is gonna be my tank. Make sure he has sitting ability and very high defense. Make sure his weapon is evading counter or at least counter attack but it's recommended for evading counter because strata waivers for the first time he does a lot of damage 
and you want to make sure you evade now if you don't have evade like i said counter attack is okay just make sure you have high defense and in the fight put auto protect or put protect on your tank because it's gonna be needed make sure for his armor he has dark proof but this is what we're running with right now breaking hp limit and auto protect for what now for titus he's gonna be my attacker he's gonna be the guy that's gonna be quick on his feet he's gonna be the haste character all right he's gonna be my go-to guy to kill the strata waivers all right now this guy has his triple ap overdrive the ap a triple overdrive weapon for the additional ap we get in the fight and his armor is going to be breaking hp limit and ribbon all right so that is going to be my equipment for my characters here is my stats as you can see we are completely going to obliterate this guy with ease all right it takes time to get your stats on this level i'm still not finished yet but 255 is the highest it can go of course with stuff like cheer and all that it increases it further but the max number you can get up to is 255 we're op for this fight but for the sake of video i'm still going to show you guys how you can kill this guy all right easy peasy all right now once you fight the strata waivers he's right in front of you this is what you need to know about this guy he's immune to everything he's immune to sensors and scanners but what he's not immune to he's not immune to slow but he has a very high slow resistance as a matter of fact he has a 90 percent slow resistance so you can cast slow on this creature but just knowing he has a high resistance to slow it's going to be very hard for you to get that on him also he's vulnerable to breaks like power break mental break magic break and armor break he's subjected to those breaks so if you got those skills please use it on this guy because it's going to be easy for you also he's subjected to doom doom takes about 200 turns for death to take effect but like i said that's 200 turns you don't want to wait 200 turns to in order to kill this guy but i can understand if that's your only alternative then it's okay to use doom also he can take fire ice water and lightning as well as holy damage normally so he's not uh He's, he's not invulnerable to those uh, black magic skills and holy. He's, he can take damage to those skills, all right? But other than that, he's immune to everything. So bio, all that other stuff, he's immune to, all right? So first thing you want to do here is, well, with Riku, well, for the first time playing, the first thing I want to do is power break this guy to lower his uh strength i'll put now for titus here you can put haste to go on all the group or you can just haste to go on yourself it don't matter and uh for waka or for your tank i'm sorry what you want to do is make sure you always keep them in sentinel all right because that's going to be important now if you have the time as you see here on the top uh left I have plenty of turns so if you got a lot of turns please use cheer to increase the party's defense you want to do that all the time but you know if you have your girl riku you know you can use her overdrive to give ultra null all and i think that gives five times cheer and uh other additional effects so let's go ahead and do that that's if i have to equip it to do so all right there we go Ultra no all. This gives me five times cheer, and uh, it gives me all the elemental uh, resistance. And other than that, once we do that, we just go in for the kill. Now, like I mentioned, he does have a high evasion. So if you're not able to hit the strata waivers, make sure you use Waka to raise the party's accuracy. All right, once you do that, you're good. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and attack this guy. Just keep attacking. That's all you wanna do, keep attacking. Or whoever's gonna be your attacker, make sure you attack with them. You don't wanna attack with everybody in the party. Make sure the person that's gonna be the tank, make sure he always in Sentinel. So I'm gonna demonstrate right here and put him in the Sentinel. I'm gonna go ahead and attack with Titus. 
miss the counters attack but that's that's all you want to do that's pretty much the gist of the fight you just want to keep attacking you want to keep attacking until he falls on his two feet when he gets on his two feet you're safe from his charging attack but for the sake of the video i'm going to show you guys what his charging attack looks like that way you get a better understanding on what to do all right now as you can see he's charging this means on his next attack he's gonna dust his ram attack and is gonna cast blindness on all the party members he's also gonna deal a lot of damage so that's why i recommend you do the cheer to increase your defense or if you have riku in your party use her overdrive ultra no all gives you max defense right then and there but for the sake of the video i'm going to show you what it looks like here we go does ram attack and as you can see even though we have 255 defense it still took a lot of damage from us so you want to make sure you want to have a lot of defense when it comes to this guy but if you are able to withstand this attack you're good to go you can beat this guy make sure you heal your party members if they're uh if they're need to be healed so um but i'm gonna go ahead and use an out bed potion i think this will get rid of uh the darkness that's on uh oh it doesn't maybe i have to use uh DC. And uh, get rid of the blindness from Waka. And just keep attacking. Make sure you heal your party members. And that's pretty much it, man. That's all you want to do. That's all you want to do. Keep attacking this guy until he lands on his two feet. Once you land on this, once he lands on his two feet, like he just did here, you are in the clear. You can beat this guy. Just make sure you keep your tank in Sentinel. And you're good to go. You can beat this guy easy peasy, no problem. All right, so here we go, Sentinel. And uh, he's gonna attack. He's gonna miss. We already got high evasion. So this guy's pretty easy compared to us. All right, now I'm just literally playing around with the straightaway. But I could have ended him with like three hits if I wanted to. If I really wanted to, I can end him. I could have ended his career very early all right let's see there you go that's how you beat him all right you can beat Stratowavers just like this easy peasy no problem now we already reached the max of spear level so we don't get no ap after this and we got that all right now see that is it that is how you defeat the Stratowavers. now i'm gonna show you guys one more fight i'm gonna show you guys an alternative way if you don't want to use physical characters if you want to use magical characters like lulu and yuna i'm going to show you guys how you can defeat the shadow waivers using these three characters now they are significantly much weaker than the party members i just had just had just now but i'm still going to show you what it looks like to fight the guy in a different way all right with using magic let's get right into it all right so for my next party members i'm using lulu kamari and uh, yuna Yuna's gonna be my support character as well as my attack because she's pretty much strong enough to attack this guy on her own. Kamara's gonna be my tank. He has evade encounter on his weapon. And Lulu's gonna be my attacker as well to help out Yuna when it needs to. So uh, what I'm gonna do here is um, I'm gonna go ahead and do Holy. But you know, he is vulnerable to magic. So we can go ahead and do Holy here. All right, this should be like over 10K. There we go, 18,000. And we're gonna keep our tank in Sentinel because this guy hits hard. Now, they're significantly much weaker, like I mentioned. Ooh, I didn't expect Kamara to hit him that much. All right, Kamara. They're significantly much weaker than my previous party members, but uh, we can make it do what it do. I'm just gonna show you guys that they, you can fight the Stratoway if you want to use magic. Uh, with Lulu here, we're gonna cast Black Magic. And we're gonna do Flare. She's not gonna do as much damage as Yuna, but it's something. Keep your uh, Tank of Sentinel. Holy.
Oh, oh, here we go. I thought he was about to drop down on his two feet already. Now, uh, since we have Kamari's overdrive, we're gonna go ahead and put on Mighty Guard here. Give my team members extra protection. I think uh, this gives myself auto uh, regen, I believe. And we'll see. And uh, we're doing a holy again. I think these next two attack is gonna put him down. On oh, he's charging. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys what you can do if you don't get him down in time and if you have unit in your party. I think we can get him down though. Now, for the record, if you are not able to damage him uh, before he does his charge attack and he does a fall down on his feet, you wanna use Yuna before, on her last turn, I'm sorry, and summon an AI, either Yojimbo or Shiva, someone who has high evasion, and, you know, kill him like that. But if you don't wanna use your AI, you know what I'm saying, just keep damaging him if you are strong enough to do so. But if you're not, please use your AI on the fight of course. And uh I could just damage you with Kamari here. He already, oh and he misses. Okay, he misses. Alright, that's the first. Now uh we're gonna go ahead and summon because if I uh Well actually you know what, let's let's see what happened. If I do holy, he might land on his two feet here. I'm not sure. But if he doesn't, I'm gonna show you the damage that it looks from this guy. And uh no. Oh, okay, well we gotta guard us up. Let's see you the damage. Oh, just with mighty guard, we did pretty good. We did pretty good. Okay, so maybe I was overestimating this strato Avis. <laughs> okay i didn't think that this guy was going to be well we do have mighty guard on so it has protecting shell all right so after this attack he should fall down on his knees on his two feet there we go misses and then kamari's going to counter attack i'm going to go ahead and attack with kamari I'm gonna go ahead and use holy, but that's all you want to do. You can use uh, fire and ice, water and whatnot against the strata waves here. But uh, I like to use um, Lulu's flare. You know, it's a non-elemental attack. So he's gonna counter. Pop. All right, holy. He might be dying here. I think this might be the final attack. No, still got more. Still has more. All right, let's try one more time. Let's do another holy. And this might be game. I might get an overkill. And there we go, over 18,000 damage. So that is how you kill the Stratowavers with magic users. And it's pretty easy. It's pretty easy. And we got a weapon. So that is how you kill and unlock the Stratowavers in Final Fantasy Tier 2. Let me know in the comment section below if I've missed anything or didn't touch upon anything that you would like to know more about. Also, if you want to see more content on the Area Conquest Super Bosses, the link will be in the description down below. I have an entire playlist dedicated to the Super Boss Gear Monster Arena. So you should check them out whenever you get the chance to. All right, this is your boy Bridges. I'm signing out. I'll see you guys next time in my next video in Final Fantasy. Peace out.